Anyone with an iPhone in their pocket is in for a treat when iOS 16 drops later this year. The latest version of Apple's mobile operating system was teased at the annual WWDC conference, so there's plenty of time to digest what's new before it gets beamed to your handset. The lock screen has been totally redesigned in iOS 16, moving notifications to the bottom of the screen to make more room for your images. For the first time, widgets are supported here, allowing you to display weather information, calendar events, or AirPods battery level without first unlocking the phone. Messages can now be undone by pressing the message bubble repeatedly. In iOS 16, you'll now be able to edit messages after they've been delivered. The software supports SharePlay, so you may watch a video alongside your pals. The iPhone's on-screen keyboard will remain visible as you speak, allowing you to switch input modes on the fly. It now recognizes punctuation and emojis, and all language processing is done on the smartphone. The iPhone's neural engine will be used for text identification in videos as well iOS 16 lets you control what your kids can do on their iOS devices with age-appropriate restrictions. If you set a timer for 10 minutes, you'll be able to extend the timer through the Messages app. A family checklist can remind you to monitor what parental controls are active and deactivate or raise limits as your children get older. iCloud Shared Photo Library lets you share photos with family members. Apple has also added a switch for sharing directly into the camera app. All members of a shared photo library have equal access to edits, favorites, and deletes. The Home app has been redesigned to put the entire home on a single, scrollable screen. Categories now sit at the top of the screen, giving one-tap access to security devices, heating slash cooling, and lights. The Home app is available across the iPhone, iPad, and Mac but the biggest visual changes can be found on iPhone. When it first arrived CarPlay was designed for the horizontal infotainment screens most car makers were using, but now vertical layouts are more common, and digital dashboards have all but replaced physical instrument clusters. Apple demoed a handful of different layouts, mixing minimal and modern with traditional dashboards. Widgets are also making an appearance, in similar manner to complications on the Apple Watch. Residents of Maryland and Arizona will be pleased as punch to learn Apple Wallet now supports their state driving licenses. Apple Pay Later lets you split a larger payment into four equal ones that are then paid back over six weeks, with zero interest. If you get sent a virtual key, you can add it to your own Apple Wallet. Digital keys are now easier to share, with messages and mail support along with third-party integrations including WhatsApp. The virtual aerial view works in light and dark themes and can be used by developers to better point users towards rental scooters, taxi pickups, and package drop-offs. Apple is really putting the work in on its 3D maps this year, with coverage being rolled out to Las Vegas and Chicago as well as other major cities. This is one of those useful, but we hope you never need to use it features. Safety Check is intended for victims of domestic abuse, letting them instantly remove any information they've shared with a partner, including their calendar appointments, app and website passwords, and location information. You'll be able to personalize spatial audio using your iPhone's True Depth camera to scan your room. The fitness app will come as standard whether you've got an Apple Watch or not. You can also ask Siri to hang up hands free voice calls for you and insert emojis into messages. You'll be able to personalize spatial audio using your iPhone's True Depth camera to scan your room, tuning your AirPods Pros to match its layout. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own.